Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into how to install Shamiko and Zygisk Next on Kernel Su to effectively hide root access on any device running Kernel Su. As you might know, having a rooted Android phone can sometimes limit your access to certain applications, especially those that require a secure environment like banking apps. Let's start by demonstrating the problem at hand. As you can see, I'm trying to open my banking app on my rooted Android phone, but it's not letting me in. This is a common issue when you have root access enabled. The app's security measures detect the presence of root and block access to prevent unauthorized access and potential security risks. To overcome this problem, we're going to install two powerful modules, Shamiko and Zygisk Next. These modules will work together to hide root access from specific applications. Start by opening the Kernel Su app on your device. Look for the Modules section and tap on it. Click on the plus icon to add new modules. A list of available modules will appear. Search for the Zygisk Next module and install it. Repeat the same process for Shamiko. After installing both modules, restart your device. This ensures that all changes take effect properly. Once your device has booted up, open the Zygisk Next module within Kernel Su, choose the Enforce Dentalist option. This will enable Zygisk Next to hide root access from selected applications. Go to Kernel Su settings and select Unmount Modules. In the Super User section, search for your banking app. Tap on it, select Custom Profile, and then unmount the application. Now, let's see if we can open our banking app. As you can see, I'm able to log in without any issues. The app no longer detects root access, and we can use it just like on a non-rooted device dot by following these steps. You can successfully install Shamiko and Zygisk Next on Kernel Su to hide root access from specific applications. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or encounter any problems, feel free to leave a comment below.